Hello, I'm Stan and today I'm going to show you a really cool new trick that you can use with the GPT for Sheets add-on um, in order to create personalized content that is customized to the data that is in your sheet already. So in this case, we are going to generate personalized emails uh, and I have a set of instructions here as to, as to how the email should be written. As you can see, so it's very easy to give instructions. Just say the task, write an email. Style should be casual, tone should be joyful. The topic should be to sell the recipient of shampoo. Um, it should start with hi, first name, relate their job title to the topic, which is again, to sell a shampoo and sign as Stan. So you will be astounded as to how easy it is to do that with the GPT function that our add-on provides. So all you have to do is type GPT, then select all the instructions. And here you see that I include the headers of the column of the data that I want to use in the range that I put here. So I include first name and job title. Uh, this is important so that GPT can know uh, what is uh, the next data that will follow. So in the next, uh, as the next parameter in value, I just include this range. So uh, Sundar and CEO, this will be the first example. And I will type enter. And there we, there we go. I get an email that has been custom written by GPT uh, for Sundar. So it says, hi Sundar, as a CEO, you know better than anyone the importance of maintaining a professional image. Uh, that means taking steps to ensure your hair looks best. So as you, ca as you can see, it, it did follow the instructions. So it is super easy to give detailed instructions as to what uh, you want, uh, how you want the text to be generated. And as you can see, the AI automatically understood that first name was Sundar, even though the header is not written in the exact same way. The F here is not capitalized like it is here. Uh, it understood that job title was uh, this here um, and wrote the email as I wanted. Uh, and now let's say that I want to generate um, two more emails. Well, it's very easy. I can just fix the instruction. So what I need to do is just add some dollar signs here and here. I added just before the number uh, of the of the rows in the range so that when I drag the formula uh, vertically, uh, this will not change. These numbers will not change. However, in, I do not add dollar signs here so that uh, when I drag it, it will actually follow and take the next values. So let me show you. In order to drag the formula, all I have to do is point my cursor to um, the bottom right corner of the cell and then drag. So let me, let's see what are the results. Okay, so now I have one for Elon. Um, as the techno king, I am sure you understand the importance of maintaining a well-kept appearance, uh, but with your busy schedule, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then it's, it tries to sell it a shampoo. And you can see here that it even uh, tried to include a link, which I could have provided uh, either in uh, the instructions, like include this link, uh, or if I want to include a personalized link, I could have made a column which a link personalized to every recipient. And then I have one for Joe. So let me move this one second. So Joe, it recognized that POTUS here means President of the United States, and again wrote a different email than the previous two, uh, which sells a shampoo to Joe Biden. So really like it is extremely powerful. Uh, I don't think there is an easiest way today to generate custom content that is personalized to existing spreadsheet data. Um, really proud to uh, have released this and I hope uh, you can use it. There is for, for uh, very, for all the purposes that it can serve. So like generating emails, generating uh, product descriptions, generating stories, um, there is subject lines, there is like an, an endless amount of possibilities uh, to use this feature for. And it's really like just one simple function where you put the instructions first and then you put um, 
you include the value. And really, like, I mean, the fact that here we have two columns for instructions and uh, it, it's the same column, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna show you, you could actually lay out your um, spreadsheet very differently. Uh, so, for instance, I'm just gonna show you that, like, let's say that here I will add, oops. I'm just gonna delete uh, these functions so that it doesn't recalculate while I move around, move things around. So let's say that here I add three rows and then I will, okay, I will reduce the size of this, this column here and then I will move these things to the right. Okay. And all I need to do is um, okay, one important thing though is that the final instruction here should be the same, uh, sh should be the same as the headers, because uh, otherwise there is no good way to indicate which headers should be taken. So here I will do this, kbt, and then use this, and then this, and different temperature to get a new email in this case. Okay, and there we go. I've gotten a good new email. So as you can see, you can really lay out your spreadsheets as you want. What's important is that these this row matches the headers of your columns. That's that's really all, all there is to it. Um, so super simple. And of course, once you have generated your emails. So here, uh, let me just fix this again and drag it down to get three emails. Okay, got two new emails here. Um, so once you've got the email bodies, you can you could very simply uh, use our uh, uh, other product, yet another mail merge, or YAM for short, to mail merge that with a Gmail draft. And all you need to do is put this cont put the email body uh, marker, which is something that you would, uh, you would just basically put this in your Gmail draft, and um, it will automatically replace for each recipient the content of the email, the, the, this uh, tag here by the content of the email. So really super easy. I'll, I'll probably do uh, another tutorial for that uh, that shows go through the whole process at some point. Um, but yeah, uh, please ask questions in the comments. Uh, tell me what you use it for. Really excited about this, uh, this new feature of the GPT function. And um, thank you for watching and listening.